Hi, I'm Gerald with Class Dojo, and in this video, we'll cover directory setup and management, specifically focused on student connections. Before we begin, a quick note. Many of the features shown in this video require an admin or school leader account. If you're unable to take certain steps, that could be the reason why. To get started, navigate to your school's Class Dojo directory. Click the directory button from the left-hand menu, then select the Students tab. Here you'll find all the tools you need to manage your student profiles. To add student profiles, click on the Add Students button and you'll have two options. You can either import a student list or you can manually enter student names and optional parent emails. Once all students are added, select Done and they'll appear in your directory. Next, let's talk about graduating or removing student profiles. Select a student profile and you'll get two options. You can either graduate them, which is going to freeze their account, families won't receive new posts, and the past posts will remain visible. This can be undone. Removing a student is going to delete all school story posts. It cannot be undone and students cannot be reconnected. To graduate or remove a student, you can select an individual student or click Select All. Clicking on an individual student, you can view their reports, edit their name, add or remove a family or parent connection, and you can view their current class assignments. To merge duplicate profiles, Click the Merge button on the right side of the page. You'll be able to search for the profiles you want to merge and combine them into a single student account. If you need help, click on the More Info button or check the Class Dojo Help Desk article on merging profiles. Students are categorized based on the highest grade level class they're rostered in. For example, if Juliet is in both a 10th and 12th grade class, she'll appear as a 12th grade student. At the bottom of the directory, you may see your other section class. Students who were once in an active class that are now archived, or students who were never added to a class or removed. Students stay in these sections unless they are graduated, removed from the school, or re-added to an active class. And that brings us to the end of this walkthrough on setting up and managing your student directory in Class Dojo. Thanks for watching and thank you for being a part of the Class Dojo community.